Close your eyes. Focus your attention on the breath. Watch the breath coming in, watch it going out. And then again, coming in, going out again and again. Just stay right here. Try to keep your attention continuous. Because the mind needs a place to settle down here in the present moment. It needs a home. Otherwise it goes traveling around, running into all kinds of things, having all kinds of accidents. But here you have a home inside that's safe. The accidents outside, of course, are when you pick up wrong views from people. And our society is full of wrong views. The idea that money is important, status is important, praise is important. These are the affairs of the world. Sensual pleasures are important, they tell you. But these things have their opposites. You gain wealth and you lose it. You gain status and you lose it. You get praised and you get criticized. There's sensual pleasure, but there's also pain. That's all the world has to offer. So if you're looking outside for happiness, you're going to be disappointed. Look inside instead, because it's inside that you can develop inner wealth. And this is the wealth that doesn't have to fall away. There's the wealth of conviction that your actions really do make a difference, and that the quality of your intention is important. The world outside says your intentions don't matter as long as you get what you want. And here we say, well, you can get what you want, but it's going to be taken away from you. And if you did unskillful things to get it, there's going to be bad karma. The values are very different. But it's the values of the Dharma that are nourishing for the mind. These are your inner wealth. Your sense of shame and compunction. You'd be ashamed to do something unskillful that would be harm harmful to yourself or to other people. Sense of compunction. You realize that if you're careless in your actions, you're going to have to pay down the line. There's virtue when you realize you don't want to harm anybody at all, so you make a vow to yourself not to harm anybody, not to kill, not to steal, not to have illicit sex, not to lie, not to take intoxicants. These are all forms of wealth for the mind, because they lift the status of your mind in a way that is not like the status of the world. So you have inner wealth, inner status. Now as for praise, you get something so good that it doesn't need to be praised. You get a state of mind that you know is good inside. And you get a pleasure that's not like the pleasures of the world. It's a pleasure that doesn't harm anybody at all, doesn't make the mind cloudy, doesn't make the mind disturbed. The mind needs this kind of wealth. Your heart needs this kind of wealth. When you're generous, when you have the opportunity to listen to the Dharma, this too is wealth. I was up in British Columbia recently, at a place where they don't have a monastery. We had a temporary monastery. Two Thai women came one day to, to give offering our food. And as soon as I started giving the Dharma talk, they started crying because they hadn't heard the Dharma for a long time. It's like someone coming from the desert finally getting a glass of water. So appreciate the fact that you can listen to the Dharma. It gives you different values from the values of the world, values that are nourishing for the heart, nourishing for the mind. When you look for your wealth in this way, that's when you're really discerning. And the sermon is the ultimate form of inner wealth that leads to total release in the mind, release from all the suffering you cause yourself. So if you want your heart and mind to flourish, you, want, you need to nourish them with the, the food of the Dharma. You give the, Dharma a home, you give the mind a home. You give it food. You give it wealth. You take care of its needs. If you leave your well-being up to the affairs of the world, they chew you up and they spit you out. Whereas the Dharma teaches you how to care for yourself. So regard your knowledge of the Dharma as wealth, your ability to practice the Dharma as wealth. This is the kind of wealth that doesn't have to be taken away. It stays with you always, as long as you keep on maintaining these values in your mind. You have a wealth that you can depend on.